afternoon, everybody. Carl Johnson, Mastermind Traders. It is July 18th. You haven't heard from me in quite a while. I have been traveling a lot, and the last 10 days or so, I have been out of the country, just returning last night, a little after midnight. Well, you know, when I was out, I wasn't watching the market. And then I come back home, and I look at this and say, wow, the market broke out of its all-time high. That all-time high represented by this red line from a high several months back. This is pretty interesting. Well, what good does this do me, you might be asking. Well, let me shrink this line up here a little bit, okay? Or the chart. Make it easier to see. And I'm going to crunch it up a bit. Now, what's interesting here is that uh, this red line. That red, red line is the all-time high. So I'm going to write that down. That all-time high can act as a resistance level. And what's interesting as well is this black trend line. That trend line comes all the way back from March of 2009. So let's go right down here, a trend line. They merge right in this vicinity here. They merge. Well, another interesting thing is that day right there. Look at that day. The one I'm circling right now. The close of that day happens to be right on top of that black trend line. And very, very, very close to the all-time high. So we've got these three factors right here, these three price points. This is a three price point convergence. In other words, the close of that candle body that day, that closing price merging or converging with the trend line and converging with the high. They're all coming together at the same time. That's very, very strong. Now, how a person would usually look at this is with this wick the way it is and the body, that three-point price converges, one might think that the next day that we might get a reversal because that all-time high, that trend line, well, that's, this is forming a couple different resistance levels. And with that wick, man, that looks like it would be a reversal pattern. But it didn't happen that way. Instead, on this day, which was a Tuesday, and this was after I was gone, that it broke out and it's continuing to run up. Now, we've got these, two, these highs over here that haven't yet been broken. But if they are going to be broken tomorrow or within the next few days, who knows, that the market can continue running to the upside. Right now, we've got a few days of consolidation right here. It's consolidating sideways. It could bounce down a little bit, retrace a little bit, and maybe retest that black trending line, or maybe even, maybe even that all-time high, and then bounce right back up. Or, keep in mind, a consolidation pattern, which it is, this consolidation pattern, is a continuation pattern. So tomorrow's candlestick or candlestick in the next few days, who knows what, when. It could break out and head north right off the bat. Now what's interesting too is the, our moving averages. So let's take a look at the moving averages here on the chart. 10 moving averages, the blue line. And we can see that there's a pretty good distance between the price of the S&P 500 and the 10 moving average. Well, our MACD, you can see the MACD was spreading further and further apart, but they are coming back, to, they're getting closer together. And we see that by the dip in the bars of the histogram, that the MACD lines were getting further apart, but they might be coming closer together, which might indicate that 
the market may drop just a little bit. And I don't know, maybe it'll come all the way down. I don't know. Or it could turn and go up and these lines could start to separate again. Who knows? Who cares? We'll trade whatever happens. So that's what's going on in the market right now. Well, all right, what good does it do me, you might ask? Well, there's a lot of candidates out there that are looking pretty darn bullish. Look at here, Apple. Apple's heading up towards the resistance, but it's heading up. We have Umbrella heading up. How about Amazon? Amazon was moving up, and then it, it retraced a little bit down to that 278. Let me make this bigger. Down to this 278 level, it, it retraced down there to uh, retest that point. And what will it do tomorrow? Who knows? It can come down a little bit further. Maybe it'll shoot right up from here. But bullishness, how about Boeing? Okay, Boeing, nice pattern here. If I give you a little bit more time, you're going to see that it's been uh, channeling. Okay, Alibaba, nice breakout. So there's a lot of stocks that are uh, pretty bullish. Let's take a look at Facebook. I haven't seen that yet. Ah, oh, Facebook. So Facebook is heading up towards that magenta line as well as this 119.47 horizontal resistance. So a lot of trading opportunities here. Now, with that given, matter of fact, uh, before, I, before I say that, let me back up a little bit. You haven't heard from me for a while because I've been traveling quite a bit, but I'm, I want to do more of these videos. And for you trade alert subscribers, there hasn't been a trade alert in a while because of my traveling, as well as because there were a, a few times or a few days or even a time period here after Brexit that I didn't feel comfortable setting up any trades because of volatility in the market. But things are chilling out now. The prices are of the options, the uh, implied volatility is coming out. So you can see a lot more trade alerts. So I sent one out today. It was profitable almost right off the bat and within about 20 minutes. And uh, I'm gonna try to get a couple more out this week, one or two more out this week. And I'm gonna try to do a couple every single week for the next several weeks, just to kind of make up for the time that I have been gone. All right, but let's get back now to the charts. The bullishness in the market right now, even if it comes back down and, and uh, retraces it a little bit and then rallies back up again, is creating a lot of opportunity. I, can, I just kind of point out a couple charts that are showing some strong bullishness. But with that said, what I'd like to do is I would like to make an invite to you. I'm going to be down in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm going to be down in Atlanta, Georgia on Thursday and Friday. I know it's a short notice because it's this Thursday and this Friday. It's going to be the 21st and the 22nd of July 2016. So really you've only got a couple days to make a decision if you want to come down or not. It's free. So we can talk, we can get to know each other, meet you. I'd like to meet you as many of you as I possibly can. I'm going to give you the information here. But in these two days, Thursday and Friday, what we are doing as well is we are bringing in the instructors that taught me and Eric. So I would like for as many of you to join us in Atlanta for a two day event and have them teach you as well. All right, totally free you guys. Now, if you are gonna bring a family member or a friend it, they're not going to get in free. It's going to cost them about $597. But you, as a student of Mastermind Traders, it is free to you. So I'd love to have you there. All right, so let me erase all this. And let's bring up this. Uh, this is where it's going to be. Okay. So what I'd like to have you do as well is to write down, well, let me see, write down this, um, pause this recording and take down, I better make this a little bit bigger here. Take down this, um, this web page. 
make it nice and easy to see. Take down uh, this address. That'll take you to Mastermind Traders and uh, register. It's free, you guys. Come on down, visit with me. Let's get to uh, meet each other, sit around, and we'll, we'll have uh, some after event time and talk it up a bit, talk some trading. Also meet the people who taught me and learn from them. Two days, you guys. Two days, this Thursday and Friday. So I'd love to see you there. Write this information down. You can access or make reservations via the hotel or via this address to uh, get a room here at the Hilton Inn. It's right at the airport in Atlanta. You can fly in, call Hilton, have them send out a uh, shuttle for you. They'll pick you up. There's no traveling costs. And spend these two days with us. I'd love to see you there. And what we're going to do, or what I'm going to have the instructors that taught me, I'm going to have them show you what we can do with today's market conditions. Is that going to be good information to have? You bet it is. Love to see you there. Matter of fact, I know a few of you right now that are coming. So come on out. We'll see you in Atlanta this Thursday and Friday, July 21st and July 22nd. Everybody, take care. See you in Atlanta.